As Pastor Greg Locke here. You know, Jesus said in John chapter 14 and verse number six, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. And then further, he elaborated in Matthew chapter seven that broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, but narrow is the way that leads unto life, and few there be that find it. Some time ago, there was a study of statistical data done amongst evangelical Christians, quote, those that actually believe the Bible, and over 50% of them said that there are perhaps multiple ways to heaven. Well, first of all, if you believe that there are multiple ways to heaven, then you are not a Bible believer. Because the very essence of the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, is not that Jesus is a way to heaven. He is the one and only way to heaven. People say that's bigoted, that's narrow-minded, that's exclusive. Exactly. Jesus is exclusive. He is the only way, the only truth, and the only life. And if you try to get to heaven any other way other than Jesus Christ and his gospel, you cannot go. I jokingly tell people I'm so narrow-minded when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ that a gnat could land on the bridge of my nose and kick both eyeballs out at the same time. I'm telling you that is one fundamental doctrine that we cannot afford to compromise. People say, well, what about those who believe in Buddha? What about those who believe in Allah and Muhammad? What about those who believe in Confucius? What about the multiple thousands and tens of thousands of Hindu gods? What about people that believe in work salvation? Hear me and hear me well. If you trust in anything other than Jesus Christ to get you to heaven, you don't go. What kind of believer would I be if I didn't believe that? Why in the world would I waste my life preaching a gospel that I don't even truly believe? All of these cars that are driving by me right now, why would I even risk my life and waste my time to reach people, millions of them all over the world, with videos and messages and every other way, if I really didn't believe that Jesus was the only way? If I didn't believe that, I'd sleep in in the morning, turn this foolish Facebook page off, never again open up a Bible, and I would not preach. But woe be unto me if I preach not the gospel. Because you hear me, the only way a person will ever get to heaven is through repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And to say that there are multiple ways to heaven is a smack in the face to the holy God of the universe who said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him... Not in church, not in denomination, not in experience, not in good works, not in your family, your friends, your birth, your marriage, or the lack thereof, your baptism, anything else. We believe in Him. Whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So you hear me, and you hear me well unapologetically. Jesus is not a way to heaven. He is not one of many ways to the kingdom. He is the one and only way to the Father. Jesus said it. Not Greg. It's in the Bible, in red letters, and we have to bank on that. And I'm a believer because I believe in the fundamental fact that Jesus Christ is the only one that can save us from our sin.